August 18th. It's been raining like crazy. I'm riding by my bamboo spot and I see one knocked over here. Looks like it broke. Maybe I had some wind here. I might not have a lot of uh, space on my drive here. I just want to see if there's any shoots coming up out here. We've had like four inches of rain at my house in the last, uh, yeah, it's really wet out here. It's squishy standing water here. So, yeah, we got like three or four inches of rain here in the last two, three days. Let me get out here. Ooh, there's a nice big shoot. That's, man, that's like three inches plus already. That, that might be, oh, there's another one right next to it. I didn't even see that. So there's going to be two nice ones coming up there. All right, and here's my, uh, where I got most of my donors from. You can see they're, you know, 50, 60 feet tall at least. I think they measured out about 70 something, the tallest ones. Let's see what we got over here. This is where I got my big 22 footer out last year, right here with the clone off of it that's producing seeds right now. This is right next to it. Look at the size of that one. That's probably. Oh, that's a new shoot. That's a brand new shoot. That's, I got video of this a few weeks ago. So that's, this is probably about uh, maybe five weeks old, four or five weeks old. And it's, you know, almost four inch diameter. And it's gotta be 25 feet tall right now. There was a couple other, let's go see these other ones that were over here. Started. They got to be probably 20 feet tall to where, oh, here they are, yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that one's probably 25 feet. This one's, this one's a little fatter right here. And it's probably, that's probably about 25 too. It's over the bank a little bit there. And here's the other two that were just knee high last time I was here. They're, yeah, 25 feet tall, too. These are a couple from last year. Or the, wait, is that a new shoot, too? Wait, is that a new? Yeah, that's got to be. That's got to be a new one, too. Wait, I know that one over there is. That's a new one. This one. Uh, that might be from last year. I can't really... This one's got new, new combs still wrapped around it, and so is that one. So I know those are from the, this year. Look at the top of it. Yeah, that one's from last year because it's got branches and everything. Or else it was real early this year. Oh, there's another shoot back there. That one's probably a little... Oh, and that's a new shoot back there with the combs wrapped around it too. So there's a lot of new ones in here. Should probably get in here, cut some of these old ones out. Some of these are completely dead. That's completely dead and dried. Those are gonna break and fall over. Maybe, man, who cut that one off chest high? Somebody else has been out here cutting my bamboo. At least they got a ripe one. See, I cut mine all the way down at the bottom. There's a new shoot there. That one's probably about 15 feet tall. That's that's a little that's under three inch. That's probably about two and a half inch. Oh, and whoa, that's a big new one right there with that comb with all those sheath combs on there or comb sheaths on there. And that one's probably 25. Man, that's a big fat one. That's a really nice looking piece. See, that's what I'm gonna have growing in my yard. Well, actually, I'm gonna. Since I don't really know what these are, and they're they're pretty good bamboo, they're they're so so. Um, I mean, they can be treated. They, there's another big, big new one back there. So yeah, there's got to be a dozen new combs in here. I should get out here and do some more cutting. But like I say, these are a, a good, hefty, big bamboo. They treat kind of well, but they need a lot of treating, a lot of sealing. It's the last here in Florida because we got some. Oh, here's a nice one. I didn't even see these two. This one's about six foot tall right there. And there's another one right there next to it. So 
they're still coming up. All all this rain that we just got is going to push up more shoots. I'm pretty sure of that. I mean, we don't usually get uh, four or five inches of rain in three days. Now this here, this is a new shoot too. And that's right, man, look at the roots on that thing. I could probably snap that off and take that home while well, I'm in my girlfriend's car. I got to get out of here. But, oh, and there's a new shoot right there. See, this is absolutely clumping bamboo because, I mean, look how far away it clumps up. It comes up right in the middle of the clump. And every, every new shoot off of here is within a foot or so. This one's probably the farthest I've seen. I might be able to get that out of there. Yeah, it wiggles now, but you come back in two weeks when this has got some branches on it, and it'll be murder to cut out of there. There's another six or seven footer right there. So yeah, there's a lot of new combs coming out here. The rain, rain's really done the bamboo wonders this year. So yeah, if I stand here and look, I can see the new shoots in there coming up. They're already halfway to the top of the canopy there so yeah that's gonna look great next to my house if I keep them I'm probably gonna end up replacing everything by my house with the uh, Cynicus Giganticus and uh, long inner node bamboo there's one two three four new combs I can see right there yeah, I got to get out here and cut some more of those old ones. There's a few that are black on the top. Those are getting ripe. Those could go. And they may, even though they don't last forever in Florida, the bugs do kind of eat them up. Um, they're good temporary stuff. You can hang a fence on them. You can, you know, trellis stuff. There's a lot of use for them. Once you get them in your yard, you can find something to do with them. Now this little group here there's one two two new short ones in there I can see there's six or seven foot tall and then this one here which is about 20 some feet tall so that's got a few new ones coming in there it's probably got more down there. there's a lot of poison ivy in there I've, I don't really go down in there that much and then I'm not even sure if this is the same kind of bamboo as the one out there at the end. The one at the end, well, this one gets some pretty big ones, too. They get up to 4 inch, but the ones down there at the end that I showed you previously, those uh, are uniformly larger. These ones all, all kind of just under 3 inches, and the ones out there are 3 inches and up. But I, I think they're all the same kind of bamboo. All right, so I'm going to take some snapshots of this so I can send to somebody. I'm trying to identify these to find out exactly what they are. So cut.